Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I am here at the office and we're doing something special today. Um, usually I would come to you outside of the office, probably, you know, possibly covering subjects about Turkey or real estate, or maybe you would see me in a luxury villa reviewing it. But today we'll be doing something different. And in this video, we're going to be discussing the Turkish passport. If the Turkish citizenship by investment program really worth taking it, right? So how do we do that? I mean, I thought about dividing this video into three parts. And in these three parts, first of all, we're going to take a look at the material itself, the Turkish passport, how strong it is, how does it compare to other passports? Then we're going to take a look at the ways of obtaining it. And then lastly, we're going to compare it to the comparable uh, programs around the world by different countries. Now, the Turkish passport itself, in my opinion, is a strong passport. It's not the best, but it's a strong passport. With this one, you can travel to basically 100 116 countries under normal circumstances but during covid and etc that number is obviously not only for turkey but for a lot of countries as well uh is low but under no normal circumstances you should be able to travel visa free 110 plus countries and these countries include um you know ones like japan the entire south america you're talking about south korea and etc another subject is the entrance to the schengen area the eu area if you are a regular turkish passport holder such as me you can literally get a schengen visa without any hassle i mean it would generally take me two to three days uh, to get it and most of my friends uh, get it as well and these are the regular passport holders and the regular passport is the the red reddish bordeaux color with that one you need to apply for a visa and with the other one which is the green passport which is issued to civil servants and government employees like teachers etc you can go to the schengen area um, without a visa uh, with no problem and you know that is kind of makes the turkish passport a strong passport and another additional benefit uh, for the turkish citizens i mean if you're holding a turkish passport you're automatically a turkish citizen right as turkish citizens you can go to uk and work there with ankara agreement we have an agreement with the uk you can open up a business there without any requirements uh without any amount or something obviously the agreement has its own requirements uh but you can work and live in the uk you can go to us with an investor visa turkish people are fairly you know it's easier for us to get it but obviously for everything you need to get the uh, requirements right these are some of the uh benefits of the turkish passport and being a turkish citizen you have in my opinion, the biggest advantage is the healthcare, the free healthcare uh, that you can take advantage of. The healthcare in Turkey is not only free, but it is also good. The healthcare industry in Turkey is a very, very developed industry, especially for the past 20 years or so. It, it jumped from a, you know, medium sort of a point to a very high quality point. So I can vouch for that as well. Now, that being said, let's take a look at passportindex.com to compare the Turkish passport with all the other passports. All right, now this is the passportindex.org, right? In this one, the Turkish passport scores at the, with the mobility scores of 98 currently. But when we look at the previous years, 2015, we're seeing a mobility score of 102. 2016, 104. 2017, 107. 2018, 115. 20. 19 121 we are actually seeing a very nice inclination with the mobility score and what is this mobility score well it has a lot to do with the power of the passport i don't want to get into details you can go to the website and read all about it right in the year 2019 it goes down to number 74, sorry, in the year 2020, it goes down to number 74 because of COVID-19. And then slightly it goes back up, it bounces back up, right? So this is the mobility score. When we take a look at the rank and the global rank right here, at the top, we're seeing the passports of the countries such as Finland, Germany, Spain. Okay, that's uh, very normal and very usual. And where is Turkish passport? We're going down to number 20 with the Chilean passport. Uh, this is how 
strong the Turkish passport is number 20 in the world but obviously uh, multiple passports are sharing the first uh, numbers so I'm not really sure about the number but overall it's the number 20 it is ahead of the passports of the countries such as Argentina Russian Federation uh, you're looking at Hong Kong Barbados Israel Brunei Bahamas Mexico uh, Saint Kitts and Nevis, Antigua, Barbuda, Trinidad, Tobago, and Costa Rica, Qatar, Mauritius, Santa Lucia, and etc. Now, one more thing that we need to understand here is that this is under COVID-19 measures. So under normal circumstances, the list would look much different, in my opinion. But at the end of the day, uh, we're doing this video as of 2021, and as of right now, this is how it looks. So, now again, the Turkish passport is not the best, is not the worst, but it is a strong passport, it is an upper intermediate passport, and there's a lot we can do with it. So, now that we have established how good and strong the Turkish passport is, we can now move to the other section of this video, which is how to obtain the Turkish passport, the ways of getting citizenship by investment. The first one is definitely the most beneficial one. It is acquiring a property by investing $250,000 in Turkish real estate. Real estate method is the easiest and the most cost-effective way of obtaining the Turkish passport. Other ways of getting it is creating jobs, which involves outsourcing some of the jobs to Turkey. You need to employ 50 Turkish people, making a capital investment by means of a deposit of 500,000 US dollars in a Turkish bank, investing into a fund or a venture capital for 500,000 US dollars. With this way, you can obtain Turkish passport. Now let's start taking a look at other countries that have these programs turkey let's let's start with turkey time to citizenship three to four months real estate investment two hundred fifty thousand dollars you can buy anything you want with that that could be a land that could be a commercial building that could be a residential that could be a hotel uh whatever it's up to you passport application fees for a family of four is five thousand dollars including the due diligence fees and etc this might change depending on the kind of lawyer or attorney uh you're uh, working with um, that could be an extra added cost as well. The value added tax is typically either 1, 8 or 18%. But as a foreigner, if you're wiring the money from outside of Turkey in foreign currency, you can be exempt from VAT. So that's additional benefit. Another additional benefit of owning a Turkish real estate is that if you own one real estate for five years, when you come to sell it after five years, you're exempt from the capital gains tax, which is 22%. You're paying absolutely zero. You can buy that property for a million, you can sell it for two million, and you, you pay absolutely zero capital gains tax. And in total, you're basically looking at 275,000 US dollars to obtain the Turkish passport. Let's fast forward a little bit. Let's take a look at Montenegro, another country that offers citizenship programs. Time to citizenship is 15 months to three years. Minimum real estate investment, they basically have two options. The option number one is that if you invest into the northern part of the country, you need to invest 250,000 euros. And if you invest in the southern part of it, you need to invest 450,000 euros. And the application fee for a family of four is around 45,000 euros for the Montenegrin passport. And there's a value added tax, which is 19%. This cost is on the real estate, the property that you're buying. You can, you know, recuperate that when you're selling, but the additional fees and application fees, uh, there's no way. The option one will cost you around 342,000 US dollars in the Northern part of the country. And the option two will cost you 580,000 euros in the Southern part of the country. And I don't know the uh, dollar amounts as of right now, but there must be something, you know, it should be between 400 to 700 uh, US dollars to obtain the Montenegrin passport. Malta, time to citizenship, 15 months to three years. Minimum real estate investment is 700,000 euros plus a non-refundable donation of at least 600,000 euros. Passport application fees for a family of four, 200,000 euros. There's a value added tax between 9 to 12% and the total will cost you around 1.2 million 
euros. Dominican passport, time to citizenship, three to nine months. Minimum real estate investment is 200,000 US dollars. Passport application fees for a family of four is 35,000 US dollars. The value added tax is 1.25%. The total amount you need to spend to obtain the passport is 237,000 US dollars. Santa Lucia, another country in the Caribbean, time to citizenship is three to four months. Minimum real estate investment is 300,000 US dollars in a pre-approved real estate plus fees now one thing i need to mention here the pre-approved real estate thing we're going to see this in many other countries as well but i don't quite understand how that works if something is pre-approved i think there is something fishy there i think it is it might be overpriced M might be might not be i don't know i'm not sure but um the fact that it is pre-approved that's 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 something kind of fishy i mean in turkey you can basically buy any real estate from anyone well that person has to be turkish anyway uh let's continue with the santa lucia again passport application fees for a family of 435,000 us dollars with due diligence fees of 12,500 dollars value added tax 15 percent in total you're looking at 492,000 us dollars Antigua Barbuda, another country in the Caribbean. Time to citizenship is three to four months. Minimum real estate investment is 400,000 US dollars in a pre-approved real estate. Passport application fees for a family of four, 75,000 US dollars. And the value added tax here is negligible. Uh, the total, again, you're looking at 475,000 US dollars. St. Kitts and Nevis, time to citizenship, three to four months, minimum real estate investment is 200,000 US dollars, passport application fees for a family of four, 75,000 US dollars, with a value added tax of 17%, you're total looking at 310,000 US dollars. And finally, Grenada, time to citizenship is three to four months, minimum real estate investment is 350,000 US dollars in a pre-approved real estate for a solo investor administration fees for a family of four is 125,000 us dollars passport application fees for a family of four is between 4,000 plus uh, 20,000 dollars of due diligence fees the value added tax is 15 percent in total you're basically looking at the upwards of 500,000 US dollars. Now, okay, conclusion, what do we think now? Obviously, the citizenship by investment program through real estate is something that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. And that is something which I am really uh, knowledgeable about. And when I look at the facts and figures, and I can see that the Turkish citizenship by investment program as of April 15, it is April 15 now, and that's the level, 250,000 US dollars. It might go up tomorrow, when you look back at this video, uh, don't rebuke me. But this is how it is. In my opinion, the Turkish Citizenship by Investment Program to real estate vastly overpowers all the other um, Citizenship by Investment passports around the world as for value for money. You're basically investing 250,000 US dollars in a property which you can sell after three years at an appreciation and you get to hold your passport not only you but your entire family your dependents your children under 18 and your wife as well um, so you're not paying crazy application fees you're not buying something that is predetermined or etc in that sense they're very advantageous program and i don't know how long will it last but this is the current situation of it now and this is my opinion. Uh, go out there, do your own research and compare for yourself. Now, again, I hope I provided you guys enough information. If so, like this video and leave your comments down below. I would really appreciate that. Again, I'll kindly ask you to subscribe to the channel and also click on that bell button. So whenever I upload new content, you can see that I create informational content about Turkey and Turkish real estate and lifestyle. So if you like what I do, don't forget to support it. And thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.